and the Dubrinic Channel is back, and today we are talking about Lake Powell. The wife and I, we took a nice long drive yesterday, started at 6 in the morning, didn't get back till 9 at night. It was a very long day, and wow, I learned a whole bunch about the different states that we were in. We, we were stopped the Grand Canyon for a little bit and checked that out, and we also went to Lake Powell. The day started off very intriguing as we got to Utah fairly early, and when we got there, I could not believe my eyes whenever we stopped. Look at this right here. This is a snapshot that I took of this alfalfa truck heading towards I-15, and I was very taken aback by alfalfa in the desert. Where in the world would alfalfa be coming? So I started researching it whenever I got back. Sure enough, alfalfa does grow in the desert. I don't know where they were taking it, obviously. They were taking it south on I-15 towards Vegas. Now, that doesn't mean it was going to Vegas. It could have been going to Los Angeles or Phoenix or who knows where. But they had a whole truckload there, and this picture really doesn't give it justice of how big that thing really was. I didn't have time to break out my video because he, as soon as I started to take the picture, he was starting to move, and by the time I got to the video, he was long gone. So it's hard to say where this truck went I did see that it turned south on I-15 and that's about the gist of it so I started looking up alfalfa and sure enough I find that in this article right here as you can see that thanks for record alfalfa hay exports it's going to China, believe it or not. It says that not only Arizona, California, Idaho, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Washington hay exports go to China. So do you guys believe that this alfalfa hay was probably rolling out to China? And I saw it with my own two eyes, and I was just taking it back. This article here was released February 16th, 2021, and I was just shocked. I was like, wow, this is just insane. And it actually takes 24 inches of rain to produce alfalfa and right here it says that you know salt lake city only gets 20 inches of rain on average so you know that's not very much and that where are they coming up with the rest of that they stealing it from the colorado river things to make you wonder things to make you go hmm here we are in a desert and nevada's even worse they only get about nine inches of rain per year so where in the world does it says right here that u.s nevada only gets 9.5 inches of rain each year so that's not even that much now this has been a wetter year than normal but that doesn't mean much in my opinion so we continue on the journey and then next thing i know i'm going by car washes and golf courses there's 140 golf courses in utah and i'm thinking to myself what in the world is up with this this is just insane golf courses everywhere every time i turned around there was a golf course so a lot of golf courses a lot of car washes and it's just nuts that all this is here in the desert you would think they would want to conserve water but there's no signs up in any bathroom that i went in to say hey, please conserve water accordingly and so on and so forth they don't even give it much thought here in the meantime the lake continues to get lower and lower and lower and it's a combination of people combination of agriculture car washes golf courses etc so this is a, a big problem in the United States, and it's going to only get worse, not better. Now, we get to Lake Powell, and of course, they're not giving tours like they once were due to staff issues. And I even tried to explain to myself, I was like, hey, look, you know, I do a YouTube channel, and I independent journalist and I'm, I'm trying to get to the dam so I can get some good footage and so on and so forth and I was politely told no so we just they're like you can get footage out here and this is the best you got you had a fence you go to the bridge and the bridge is nice but I mean you can't really get good footage if you dare to put your camera through like I did right here you can get some footage but what I was taking aback there's just not that much water release even even with the water being released it's still very minimal in comparison. The outflows yesterday were only 7,695 and your inflows were only 6,026. The level as of yesterday was only 3,530.20, up 0 0.36 inches over the last 14 days, so not very good at all as far as that goes. And that is what happened at Lake Powell, and here I did go live to let everybody know that yesterday that I wasn't allowed to go in. Some people were there. I'm, I apologize. I did not see that till after we left. 
unfortunately. It would have been really nice to meet you, but it just didn't happen, unfortunately. I will be at Lake Mead tomorrow, so if you guys want to come and join me, I'm hoping to be there by 10, maybe sooner. I don't know yet. Depends on what time I can get the wife up and get out the door. So if you're going to be at Lake Mead, I will leave my email down below so you can check that out and email me if you're going to be there so we can hook up. If not, we will be in Lake Havasu on Friday. So if you dare to come out, if you have the time to come out wanting to meet me, then please uh, leave your email and I will leave me a message and I will get back with you and try to exchange numbers and see if we can make it happen. You guys have a blessed day. We will see you on the next one. God bless.